Hi guys, welcome back to Maria Potato. So, it's been a long time that we didn't see each other and there is so many things, guys, that happened in this last uh, year. Uh, so, I just had a, a baby, uh, she's three months. So there is a lot going on uh, in my life. But slowly, slowly, I'm trying to come back and today i want to just get right away in a one short recipe so those this recipe it's basically almond chocolate so i have here some almonds so basically what i did was i bought some raw almonds and what i did i put it in the, in the oven soon you guys see that the almonds they start to get some color you guys it's time to pull it out and actually you can tell from the from the smell of the almonds because they're going to release some oil, some natural oils. So when you're gonna start to smell those oils coming out, that is the time to remove the almonds out of the oven. I'm gonna double this recipe because in my house, we love almonds and chocolate together. So I'm gonna do this very quick, very easy. Behind me, if you guys notice, I have like a pot with water. So it's basically, you guys put a little bit of water in a pot and uh, put a, a glass or like a, a glass dish or anything that you can basically put it on top of the pot and i put two cups of chocolate you can use any chocolate you want white chocolate chocolate milk uh even like dark chocolate whatever you want any chocolate you want two cups and a half let's put it in that way okay so as you see guys i got here my chocolate so I put this um, I put my water basically very low like you know you can put a medium or whatever but just stir it as, as long the you know doesn't get stuck or scorched I'm gonna bring my chocolate here and I'm gonna do everything here now it comes the fun part basically what we're gonna do we're just gonna add our roasted almond is we're gonna just stir all these almonds nice and easy guys I'm gonna take a teaspoon uh, of almonds depend how big you want it I usually use a teaspoon for those because more I have those chocolate almonds, more are available for me to eat when I want a snack. But it's totally up to you. You can use a tablespoon, totally up to you. Just put it like this. And you can add any different type of uh, nuts, uh, walnuts, pecans, anything. I'll go for almonds. Once I'm done this, you gotta put this tray right away in the freezer. You can put it in the fridge, I suggest you, for someone like me that has no patience to wait on those chocolate almonds, you definitely want to put them in the freezer. In the next couple hours, maybe three hours, you can go and get a snack. Guys, so today we learned this new recipe. Very easy, very simple. Next time, we're going to have a different type of recipe. So guys, I will see you next time. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to come in back and I'm doing my best to come back. So just bear with me guys and thank you so much. Uh, I'm gonna do my best to present at least every week, at least one recipe, okay guys? Subscribe to the channel and then hit the notification button. And if you like the recipe, put thumbs up. I will see you next time. Okay, guys?